ready to do my run today and then I'm really excited because after my run I get to go get my face microneedled by my mother-in-law so she's an esthetician she's pretty much been my esthetician since Colby and I started dating because I think she graduated from esthetician school in 2017 so um yeah I'm like just super excited I just need to go get on my run so I can come back and have time to eat something after because I'm always like starving after my runs especially because today is two and a half miles I did just get some new running shorts from Lululemon I got these yesterday I got like five pairs because I don't have any running shorts and they're so comfortable and I'm like so excited to run in them because my shorts before that I've been running in are like not they're just not like running shorts I don't know why my kitchen always gets so messy, but it's it, like all this happened within two days. So. Go, honey. Go. She's such a funny dog. She like, I have to like tell her over and over again to go potty or she won't. Give you guys like a quick little mini haul of the stuff that I got from Lulu. I vlogged it on TikTok, but, or like Instagram stuff, but I should have vlogged it on YouTube. How cute are these? I'm like obsessed with them. And then I got this like matching pink set. Oh yeah, the shorts though. They're the same shorts as these. They're just in this pink color, but they didn't have my size, so they had to order it. But then this matching top, because we run a lot, like, especially for our long runs, we run early in the morning and I like long sleeves because like you don't really get hot in them, but they're like, the comfort and then I got these white ones so and then these black ones I'm wearing and then the pink ones that we ordered so I'm just like so excited and then I also got a new pair of running shoes these were my favorite when I tried them on um like everyone's foot is different in the place that I went to they like they watch how you run and then they basically give you a shoe they give you like shoe recommendations by based off of how your feet land when you run and also like your arch they measure your arch which is super cool so that's what i did the last time before the pair of running shoes i had before this i also did that and i like loved those i've been using those for literally five years so these are my second pair of running shoes and I am so excited. I can't believe I'm gonna run a half marathon in these. That is just crazy. I just ran upstairs to grab my glasses because I forgot them. I cannot run without these. I look like a goober, but it makes the biggest difference. Wow. Run is finished. My other running shoes were so worn down that there wasn't any cushion. And I think it literally like made my legs hurt way less on this run than they have before. And I just ran further than I've ever run. So that's the only thing I can think of is that it's the shoes that were just comfortable, more comfortable. Like they made my legs hurt less, <laughs> like less, like no muscle strains. And I went up a bunch of hills too. I ran like all over my entire neighborhood. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm not gonna wash my face. Wow, my hair looks crazy right now. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be taken out anyways. Um, I'm gonna actually, my blender's dirty, so I, I need to buy another one of the actual blenders for my blender so that I don't just have one because I want to make like a strawberry protein shake, but I need to make this. Not I'm gonna bring you guys obviously with me to my micro needling appointment. I just want to make like a protein shake before I go there. I'm gonna just do raw milk. Um, I love the Just Ingredients protein powder. I tried this Clean Simple Eats protein powder and I really wanted to like it, but it has soy in it, and I just I can't. It has soy lectin, which is like really bad for your hormones. And so I'm bummed because I will not be drinking that. So 
I'll probably just leave it at my house though for other days that we do like our long runs in case anyone wants to make like a protein shake or something. But I love the Just Ingredients. That's always my favorite. Or I also just got this new brand that's literally just grass-fed whey. Like there's no sweetener in it. So I might do that with strawberries and then do some honey to sweeten it. So maybe I'll try that because I want to try that protein powder. But yeah, I try to do, if I do protein powder, I'm very picky with what I do it with. Also, I tried this in like a shake form and in the Ninja Creamy. Oh my gosh, though, the Ninja Creamy makes the most amazing texture of ice cream I've ever had. Like I'm so excited to just make a bunch of homemade ice cream with it because it's freaking awesome. But that's the Ninja Creamy right there, that black machine. But anyways, um, okay, well, I'm gonna go shower and then I will see you guys when I'm done showering. It's gonna be like a five minute shower because I have to leave in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> shower is complete. I have not fixed my hair, so don't mind her because she's looking all crazy. Blender is clean. I'm gonna use my, I think it's called a Quip Protein. I will let you guys know how I like it because I'm picky with like extra picky with my ingredients but also I really care about the flavor. I also did not like the flavor of the cleanse blades. I don't know why it's so hyped. I'm I like I really wanted to like it, but I think it's disgusting. We've got a lot of things happening here. We've got some PB2 frozen blueberries. We have I love how the cleanest part of my house is not even being shown. Colostrum, raw honey, prime protein from Equip. So let's put in the fruit first. Are these expired? Because they honestly need to be. Nope. They not. Do some glues. That's my favorite thing <laughs> to call. Blueberries is blue. It sounds like blue, but it's where the heck are my scissors? Oh, guys, we're cleaning this house and we're back. It needs to be done. I had to shoot campaigns and a bunch of stuff yesterday, so we didn't have time. And hopefully, blueberries is good with peanut butter. I just want them for the antioxidants. Colostrum is my fave. This is also from Equip. Apparently this is Gwyneth Paltrow's favorite protein powder brand. And she's also kind of like me and like a clean freak. Like I'm like a different level I feel like than a lot of people because I have Hashimoto's. But I've healed my, like I've literally, like I'm making my Hashimoto's go away day by day. So I think just one scoop of colostrum. Um, and I'm very proud of myself for doing that so in order to do that you have to be like a psychopath so but that's okay this definitely smells like um protein powder okay how, what's the serving size there's no scoop in here oh yeah they just at the bottom i'm like where the fudge is the little miss scooper she's hiding she is hiding okay that's very messy it's okay. It's like literally stuck. It's fine. Okay, that was really messy. It's fine, just another thing to clean up when we get home. I feel like YouTube is like the most raw, chaotic version of myself. I don't have a spoon, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in. Because I'm in such a freaking hurry. I freaking hope I'm not late. I'm being late. I'm gonna be late. milk everyone's favorite thing to give me so much trash about when it's literally legal it does not make any sense to me okay <laughs> let's, let's do this thing hopefully the consistency is like a-okay yeah it's pretty good hopefully it tastes good mm, i didn't put any honey in uh-oh I'm just gonna drizzle some on the top and then mix it in. 
can't believe I did that. I need also, I need those carbohydrates. Okay. So mix this in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that protein powder a lot. And the fact that it's literally just, gra just grass-fed whey. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'll eat the live for the rest when I get back. dog is just outside. Layla, let's go inside. Come on. Come on. Layla, it's me. Yeah, it's me, baby girl. It's just me. It's just me. Let's go inside. Come on. Were you just waiting for me? We are all numbed up, ready to go for the microneedling. I've done this once or twice before. I really don't think that it's bad. I feel like um, chemical peels hurt worse. I feel like my camera's dirty. Hold on, let me clean it. Um, I think chemical peels are worse, and I also think that getting your lips done, nothing really compares to that. But September's the best. She has literally changed my skin. Her handle on Instagram is Skin by September, and if you live in Utah, go see her. She can do, like, a consultation, so you could go in for, like, a facial, and then she could give you, like, a skincare regimen. That's what she does for me. That's what she did for my um, sister-in-law as well. I actually want to get my mom in to come see her because I love how she'll customize. Like, she's really good at what she does. She, um, used to work at a, a med spa here in Utah, but now she's doing it out of her home, and I'm, like, so happy for her, and it's just awesome. She has, she has a lot of clients, though, so, um, she's bumping because she's that good so um just message her and yeah she'll get you in because she is taking clients right now so i feel like investing in your skin is like one of the best things that you can do for yourself like my favorite forms of self-care besides like working out is a facial and a massage like those two things you just can't go wrong with so but i'll show you guys this room after actually fun fact when Colby and I were dating, we used to, I used to like sleep over at um, their house a lot and like for like Christmas or just things like that. And I remember one Christmas, like my parents were traveling and I slept in this room because Colby and I weren't married yet. And it's so cute and so fun being in here. It's so cozy. It's such good vibes. So yeah, I'll show you guys. But yeah, we're numbing. I don't even think you could see the numbing cream. Oh, by the way, that protein smoothie, the protein powder, absolutely incredible. I think it is actually my favorite protein powder I've ever had. And I think the reason why I like it is because I liked the honey being the reason that it was, like, sweet. Because sometimes protein powders have a weird, like, artificial flavor. Like, that's how Clean Simple Eats was for me. I just did not like it. So, if you want, like, good protein powder, I'm going to ask them if I can get a code. Um... <clears throat> But, yeah, I get why it's gone with Paltrow's favorite protein powder. Like, I get it. And I would get the unflavored, and then I would use I would use honey to sweeten it. You could also use maple syrup. I'll try that. But I'll probably just stick with honey, because I think honey is, like, the best for smoothies. Um, but you could also use, like, regular vanilla, like, extract. Oh, yeah, my face is getting a little bit more red. I'm so excited to drink the rest of that protein shake when I go home, because I was like, oh, I want more. It's so good. It's so good. I'm going to try and convince all the... Um, Colby's mom, my mother-in-law, and then Kaylee, his sister, and Caitlin, his brother's girlfriend. That's who, like, we're all training for the half marathon with. So we have, like, a group chat, and we're all putting things that we love in the group chat. So I'm going to tell them to get that protein powder if they need a good one. Okay, you guys, this is September's room. So right when you walk in, there's this beautiful vanity. And then it's just such a vibe in this whole room. We just did the microneedling. I'm going to show you what it looks like, but it is so cute. So I'll put her link below if you're in Utah so you can book. And then this really cute shelf over here. The whole room is just such a vibe. Look at this cute. I wanted to show you this vanity too. Just like so cozy. She's the best. She has such good vibes and good energy. And that is so important when someone's touching your face it just is and she's so good at what she does 
I know I was talking about this before, but I used to have really bad cystic acne and my skin's just very acne prone or it used to be and she like gave me she gave me a regimen probably I think five years ago and it made the biggest difference so I'll link her below and I already told you guys I already went off for like five minutes earlier but let me know if you have any questions as well in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them new car gets delivered tomorrow we're gonna go check it out we had to pay like a shipping fee on it it was like 800 no, it's nine hundred dollars. Um, so I like we're pretty sold on the car. It's like it's a it's a definitely like a good deal for the car and the miles. It's also still under warranty because it's a twenty twenty three. I almost just said what it was. Okay, I just went to Nordstrom after micro needling. By the way, this is what my face is looking like about an hour and a half later. I put my hair up and I just, I don't know, my whole, my whole face is kind of red right now from the microneedling, but that's like totally normal. It doesn't hurt at all. I could still feel the numbing cream, but it's gone. My mother-in-law, by the way, uses the best numbing cream. Like she could have injected my lips because that's how numb I was. I swear she does like, I know it's, um, she gets it from her friend that's a nurse practitioner. So it's like the highest numbing cream that you can possibly have because she is so cute she's like i want my clients to feel feel comfortable like just trust me she, you're in good hands i was also just telling her i was like you should get like certified in lymphatic drainage massages and she was like i literally want to do that she's like it seems like she, she's like i feel like that's something that i'd be interested in because i was telling her i was like that's like totally something that i personally I'm looking for and you can't get that at like med spa places only like people that do it out of their homes will do that so let me give you guys like a little um i almost just said tour a little nordstrom rack haul of everything i got it's all running stuff i have like no running clothes and now that i'm mar running the half marathon and a 10k i need to have running clothes because i run three days a week so you guys saw the Lululemon haul earlier. I got these shorts. These are from the brand Zella. They were $22.97 or just $23. And I feel like they are, the fit is so good. I, I just have to try on running clothes. I can't order stuff online. I just can't do it. I ordered two sports bras online and I am so scared about it. But they're from this brand like She Fit. I got this sports bra that's supposed to be really good for high impact. I feel like it did a pretty good job. So this was 19 bucks. And then I'm obsessed with these shorts. They're like a cream color. So I already have like a white color. And I don't know if you can kind of tell the creaminess color of these. But I love them. And this is the cutest outfit. This little jacket that I got. I think this was also like 19 bucks. is so cute. I only have black athletic um, like jackets. But how cute is this together? It's adorable. I tried it on. I was like, I'm sold. Like, the, I love putting together sets when it comes to workout clothes because it's really hard to, like, I love, like, a matching set in general. But I feel like it's really hard to, like, match your workout clothes together if, unless they're black and white. Then it's easy, which is why I usually stick with neutral tones. But the one color I love is, like, dark navy blue. So this was, yeah, 24 bucks. So cute. And I, I really like this Zella brand, but I just wouldn't ever buy it at Nordstrom. I actually did something so funny yesterday. Holy crap, it's so hot outside. Um, yesterday, I went to Nordstrom and I bought a, like a running tee from there. It was like $60 and it was from the Zella brand. And I was like, why did I just buy that? I didn't know that that's how much it was when I like was checking out. But I feel like you have to pay a certain amount per brand. Like, Lululemon is obviously, like, I think I spent, like, over $400 there with all the stuff that I got. But it's, like, the brand quality, like, the overall quality and the fit, like, matter so much. And the shirt was super cute, but it wasn't worth $60. So, like, I would say it was worth $25, like, this one. So, I'm excited, though. I think this, also, with these, like, cream shorts is going to be so cute. And we, for, like, our long runs that we do together on every Saturday... We're going to just start doing them, like, earlier and earlier. And I don't always love to wear, like, a jacket, but I don't want, like, a tank top. So I really like these flowy kind of, like, in-between 
long sleeve shirt types and then this jacket i think i'll probably also wear in the long run just a run where it's like what was i gonna say i just lost my train of thought <laughs> oh i was just looking at someone um a run where it's like really cold so if it's like below 50 degrees or around 50 degrees because i like run pretty warm because i eat a lot of meat i used to be insanely anemic and then I ate, started eating more meat and just like higher protein diet. And I like, I'm not anemic anymore. My iron levels are a ton better. And I feel like half of that is, it helps a lot when you're like training and running. So anyways, I'm going to run into Costco. I'm just literally picking up chomps. That's the only thing. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm really going to help. Well, maybe I'll peek at the clothes, see if they have any running stuff. No, I don't need, I really don't need to do that. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited for my new car. It's going to have a sunroof that's like, goes from like here all the way back. It like basically goes to the trunk. And I'm just like so hyped on that. <laughs> because the lighting is going to be so freaking good when I'm vlogging and filming. And I'm just like, I kind of actually had, oh my gosh, that's literally my car just a different color i've actually been like having weird imposter syndrome which is so dumb when it comes to like buying an, a new car like this car i worked with hyundai a few years ago and I, we actually got like a discount on it so we paid like five grand less i think this car is like a twenty thousand dollar car and it has been absolutely amazing i've always like thought it was dumb to spend a lot of money on a car because i just don't care about cars but now that I like film so much in my car for my content and I drive a ton for my content and like that's I literally wanted a new car just for that reason which might be stupid but like I feel like half of my vlogs are in my car <laughs> and um I don't know I needed a bigger we needed a bigger car anyways just getting to that point in life so this car has served us well also it doesn't have all-wheel drive and we live in Utah where it snows that's just you can't do that you can't do that that's actually that's the main reason then i would say my filming is second the second reason so i guess it's the main reason for me but like logically this car doesn't have a wheel drive and we got stuck in the snow one too many times a few days ago or not a few days ago a few weeks ago maybe like actually it's probably a month ago at this point it snowed in utah like a crazy snowstorm my husband and i were on like a main road like has like five lanes like a very busy road five lanes like per side of the street of the road and we got stuck on the road i had to get out of the car and i had to push the car up a hill and there was like cars behind me there was actually a tesla behind me that was just like cruising <laughs> this guy's probably like oh my gosh these idiots and um i had to get out of the car and i had to push it and I slipped and I like fell on my knees, told Colby that I was like, I'm done. I was like, I'm done. I'm done being like cheap. I want a nice car because I want certain luxuries like all we will drive and I want nice features. Like I just want all those things. I'm like, this is so stupid. Like we just need to do that. But I'm actually really proud of us because Colby and I are both very logical when it comes to like money and what we spend our money on and i'm actually the one who pretty much buys everything in our marriage and our relationship and for our family and stuff and like the grocery shopping just like all that kind of stuff i don't mind it at all and yeah it's like my responsibility in our marriage which is kind of a lot of responsibility but i also i'm always communicating with colby with everything so i just always make sure everything's always set up and on auto pay we're good to go okay you guys let's go inside and go get those chomps because holy crap it's freaking hot in this room i'm baking in this car costco trip is done did i just spend 250 dollars maybe <laughs> i don't know i don't know also i don't know why the screen is so dark i am so sorry hopefully the air is not too loud i honestly like am sweating and i can't be hot with my face hello vlog it is actually the next day and um my kitchen is a lot cleaner from when you last saw it i actually just did my nails and cooked and i haven't cleaned yet but <laughs> it was clean in here um and we are going to do some exciting things tonight so i can't remember if i talked to you guys about 
the car or not yet but basically my husband surprised me with a new car and it just happens to be our anniversary tomorrow so i'm so excited so we are getting a new car you guys are going to see it today it is like so beautiful it just feels very luxurious oh by the way i did my own gel x nails you guys it's literally the biggest life hack i got like this chrome stuff off of amazon i'll link my amazon storefront down below so you can get all the same nail stuff that i just got but i also just bought some gel x nails to like do my own extension nails at home so i'm really excited but with the car i feel like the best way to just describe it is like yeah luxurious the vibe very much so the vibe the, the interior is all black too which i'm like so excited about because i just think an all black interior is like pretty much always the move so um we are gonna go do that and then we're gonna go we're gonna go over to um, the Smith's house and we're gonna do like a fun pizza night. So I'll be bringing you guys along with us there. Their pool opened up today and I'm really excited except for I just started my period so I'm not gonna swim, but I am gonna put my feet in the hot tub. I think it'll be great. I also got micro needling done like you guys saw on Monday. So it's kind of like, this has like been like a chaotic week in the life vlog basically. But um, yeah, from the micro needling, I'm like, I kind of just wanna take it easy because I don't I want to be like overly cautious like when I did my run yesterday I ran two miles and I did it on my treadmill I've actually never run on my treadmill that was my first time so yeah I'm really excited do I need to refill up this water I think I already did okay we have cash for the down payment and okay I think okay I love you, princess. Are you gonna watch Moana while mommy and daddy are gone? Look at her little paw. She when she got her dental cleaning done like two weeks ago, they have to shave it to put like an IV in. She knows that we're leaving because this is what her face looks like. But you played with mommy at the park today, so you already had fun. Oh, you're so cute. You're such a baby. I love this girl. I love you. No, but we're gonna get a new car. <gasps> yeah. Oh, she didn't slip. I shouldn't have said that because now she thinks that she's going with. She doesn't even know what that means. <sighs> Nova, you're going to stay here, okay? N Nova, stay home. Okay. Do you want a treat? Let's get you a treat. Oh, God. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. I'm sure I will do that many more times, especially with kids one day, like on accident, being like, oh, your brain does not comprehend what I was saying. <laughs> okay, there you go, baby, go to bed. I love Nova's bed, by the way, this is like so random, but her bed is so cute. It's from, I think it's from Amazon or PetSmart. We've had it for a few years, and my mom got it for her for Christmas, like two Christmases ago, and it's so cute. I love it. Sarah? You guys, I'm the definition of a goober. I accidentally left the car on. Like, I pulled it out. Our garage is broken right now. So, I pulled the car out of the driveway. And, yeah, I just left it on. Whatever. Um, let me look at... My mom is so cute. She just texted me. I posted this video of like curling my hair. She was like, I need that curling iron. It's so, you look so good. She's like, and I need a, and I need a tutorial. Okay, wait, I'm going to get us. Our new car has USB-C port in it. So I'm going to get, Colby's iPhone is still like a lightning. So I'm going to get him a USB lightning. And then I'm going to get myself USB to USB, -C. I mean USB C to USB C. I actually think that the new iPhone is like worse, like phone taking and camera, mostly camera abilities. It's mostly the autofocus that I've noticed is like so bad. It like when I'm filming, it has like terrible autofocus. I don't know why they messed it up so bad, but they did. Okay, we're just gonna get black cords I want to do all black so it's like all black interior everything I feel like a lot of 
girls like lighter interiors for their cars but i think black just like plain all black looks by far the best either that or like a beige but i feel like beige is like so easy to get messy and it shows up on everything but our new seats are leather which i'm excited about because these seats have been i don't know they're just like a material but this car has been so amazing it's kind of bittersweet honestly for me to get this car because colby and i bought this car the day that we moved to california um and we moved to california in 2020 in i think it was september maybe october maybe like the very beginning of october and so it's really like bittersweet almost to like say goodbye to this car because we've had it for so long so i don't know i'm weird i like it sentimental about everything in my life kind of everything it just depends on what it is i guess because that's actually not true but like i don't like clutter i don't like holding on to stuff but i gave i had to i had to give I felt bad for nova so i got her something did you give her a treat because i just gave her one i gave her um, i actually gave her two in the past have, like hour. i did i put peanut butter in a cup oh that's a cute idea she will love that okay we just got to the car place and we don't know where we're going. Wrapping my Sephora squad. I'm actually going to LA with Sephora in two weeks. So I'm super excited. So you guys will see that in probably the next vlog. Either in the next one or the one after that. So this is random. But while I'm on the topic of water, my favorite is water. Mixed with a little bit of coconut water. And then the get off your acid kiwi. It's so good. Okay, see you guys when we're done with all the paperwork. Okay, we had some drama. I'll fill you guys in in a little bit. But we're all done a little bit later. And we got our new car. Okay, here's a little bit of sneak peek. Oh, look at the girl. Let's see. I'm so excited. Yeah, wait. Oh, wait, they didn't take the CarMax sticker off. No one wants a CarMax sticker on a Porsche. Yikes. Yikes. So cute. I'll give you guys like a more in-depth tour later, but you get the vibes. Hi vlog, a quick little update. Wow, um, Colby's mom is coming to pick me up. Colby's actually getting a perm and I'm really excited for him. So um, he's doing that right now and I've been getting a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I've just been doing like Amazon order things. So his mom is coming to get me though because they actually live like 10 minutes away from here and we're gonna go um, swimming at their house after they have a pool and then we're gonna do like a pizza night because they also have a pizza oven i'm super excited because it's like giving me all the summer vibes it's kind of cold outside so i think we're just gonna hot tub except for i'm on my period so i'm not gonna be hot tubbing because it's 57 degrees don't really feel like putting on a swimsuit when the whole situation is going on i do love this outfit though it's actually from abercrombie i will link it for you guys and i'm wearing my ugg boots they're my favorite Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's going to be 77 degrees tomorrow. We're going to lay out tomorrow after we do our run. And hopefully it's going to be freaking warm because oh, it doesn't get warm till the evening. But, well, it'll be... I don't know what the UV is going to be, but hopefully it'll be good enough to get like a nice tan. Because I'm so excited. I'm like, honestly, did not ever think that I would turn into a runner. Like, ever. Ever, 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 because I haven't run in probably like four years. I used to actually run a lot when I did like track and field, but it's really fun when you're like doing it with someone. Like I get the I get the hype, and also after I'm done running, like I feel like I'm on like happy drugs. Is that her? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's her or not. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I will see you guys when we get to the house, and we're gonna be making pizzas. It's gonna be so much freaking fun. Okay, bye. Here's my pizza, and here's Corey's pizza that I made him. So, 
Yeah. I do. Holding my camera. Minnie, come get the eye. I put a ton of flour under it, so hopefully it helps it. If it doesn't, if I can't shake it and move it, I can't, I can't get it off. Uh oh. So if I, you have to go like that, and it mm -hmm. has to slide. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think. Otherwise, I have no way to get stuck? it off. Okay. It. Okay. I have to put more flour. Ranch on pizza, yay or nay? It's a yay in my book. We're getting everyone to hype Colby up. Can I have Bodhi with you? For his hair. Come here, Doug. We're gonna hype Colby up because he got a perm. Oh, wow. Come on, Bodhi, come here. Maybe he doesn't want the attention. No, he does. <laughs> hype him up. Yeah. We're gonna hype him up. <laughs> Doug, you're going to. It's gonna be great. I need to get a light to clip on right here. Oh, I see him. Okay, I see him. Okay, come on. I want him to. I want us to all be outside. Doug, come here. Doug. Oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> you got your car? <laughs> what? Why did you get your car? Oh, that is so sick. I'm obsessed. Did you not know that? They were getting that car? Oh. So Love hot. It. <laughs> Whoa. Nothing like a perm and a porsche to me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one. That's oh. so true. Oh. No. Colby, it looks good. Tara, Tara, just, it Tara looks was just so saying good. the so Tara was just cute. saying the perm is an excuse. Yeah. I love oh, it. Thanks. I know. It's you cool, like the new cool, whip? Yeah. Isn't oh, it so cute? What year is it? Oh my god. 2022. Oh, awesome. We got it's such got, a good deal on it, like a crazy a good deal. Year and a half left, and it only has like twenty thousand miles on it too. Oh, well, it's good you got warranty wow. on it. And it's a it's an e hybrid too. Carmax is a thing, Dad. Look at Kate. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a Beamer so bad. Any kind of car. Oh, this is on my vision board. Yeah, I love the Porsche logo. It's so good. For the next five years, they will cover any. Yeah, it's good. This part back Wait, here. Those are 22s. Those are great tires. This is so, this is such a vibe too because this whole thing lights up. I love it. You can't see it right now, but this lights up. Yeah, it's so pretty. It looks so good. I know. It looks really, it already looks really good. Actually, I, I thought it would not look natural. Actually, it looks kind of natural. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It looks really good. I didn't know what to expect. I actually like it. I know, I couldn't picture it in my head. I don't know. Wheels, 20, it must be 22s. They're great. Yeah, car. these are big wheels. Doug, it's literally like the same color as your BMW. I know. <laughs> it's oh, is it? I like walked outside and I was like, oh, Doug got a new car. Do you remember what Susie's was? It's got, I think the 22s when it started with this whole, um, this, this larger screen.